Hey everybody, it's the infinite regression. Welcome. Look, look, it's your friend. Oh, oh, it's the infinite regression. Do you like regressions? Do you like regressions that are infinite? Of course you do. Of course you do. It's your favorite kind. Anyway, let's do this. Let's do it. More addictive than lemonade. Indeed. Indeed it is. Wait, it's light? Tis daytime? Then why am I cooped up inside? When tis day? Okay. It, it, it's day, and I was building a big dingus house over here. Big, pointless, stupid house. Yes, my favorite kind. Big, stupid, pointless. You know what, I think... Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely that. Anyway, I think that I'm going to... Um, bah. On all of the corners... Bah. Do like that. Bah. You know, so we can waste wood. Bah. Should just do it on the outside corners. I do it where I like. <laughs> I like to waste wood. Wood waste is good waste. Food waste is not good waste. Look at all these dingus squids. Like, I swear to God, there were not squid. Is it nightening on me? How dare you nighten it up in my presence? Yeah, sorry, squids, for your pitiful, pathetic life. But do you know what? At least you aren't capable of thinking about how pitiful and pathetic it is. That would be the true curse. Oh. Yeah, there weren't that many squid. There weren't any squids when I first started building over here. But, like, ever since I started putting stuff down, mob spawn is like, Hey, let's just do it. Let's just go for it. Let's just go. Boop. Do 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 do. Oh, that will look nice. That would look nice when I get it going. You know. You know when I get it going. You know. That would look nice. That. Would look nice. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna. Oh, Freeper. Why are you the worst in my life? You are the worst thing to happen to me. Just kidding. So, uh, today, when I woke up, excitement, oh, excitement, nothing to perk up your day, like, you know, you get up, you go wrestle some kitties, because of course you do, like, do you not wrestle kitties, like, first thing when you wake up, like, wrestle them, like, full-on wrestle them, you put on a luchador mask, you get a folding chair, and like, you, you, you intend to feed them, but they're like, oh, not without a wrestle, kind sir. Not without a wrestle. For lo, we require the wrestle in order for us to be satiated in our kitty ways. Kitties have silly voices. Anyway, regardless, um... So yeah, you get up, you wrestle the kitties, um, 
and then once kitties are good and wrestled, you know, you 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 get your water on to boil. You you put on your wife's uh, coffee pot. You you go boil the jug, you know. Uh, you know, do you know? Of course you do. This is the Barney song. I can't not hear the Barney song. I love you. Minecraft loves me. We're a happy. Anyway, regardless. Regardless of these things. Oh. <sighs> you have to start like... That's right. I started wrong. So I will definitely regret it for the rest of my life. Absolutely. Okay, what you did not hear is my, my lovely wife said that she is, feels certain that whoever it was in the Barney costume would definitely get Me Too'd in this age of Me Too movement. And to that, I say, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> like, let's all agree that whoever is under that big foam rubber costume is, uh, you know, they're not just hiding their face, they're hiding their shame, the terrible things that they've done. Oh, God. Will someone think of the children? Oh, you thought you were going to think of the children? Well, then now the children are me tooing Barney, thanks to you, and you're not thinking of the children enough. <sighs> Swear to God, sometimes you just have to think of the children. Anyway, reg regardless. So... Got up in the morning, wrestled kitties, kitties good and wrestled, and I'm ready to begin my day, right? Like you do, day, day beginning and whatnot, okay? So, what do I do? Um, I go in, uh, two things I gotta take care of right off the bat, uh, because, you know, it's first thing in the morning. I, I have to visit the baño and, and take care of my baño type needs. Baño is Spanish for the bathroom. In case you're like, I don't know, a person who's xenophobic. Anyway, <laughs> regardless. So, I went to the baño uh, as I do each and every morning. But lo, this morning I was <laughs> greeted with the, the doubling over pains of Mr. Stomachache, who was like, where do you think you're going so fast? And I was like, but I have work and stuff. And Stomachache was like, oh no, you don't. Guess what's going to happen instead? We are going to not even let you finish the first part of what you thought you were going to take care of, like an idiot that you thought that you could take care of anything without our permission. And uh, we're going to let you not finish. And then we are going to make you uh, barf all up in the toilet. Now, here's the funny part is that no one actually heard me do it. Typically, when I throw up, I it is, like, frighteningly loud. Yeah, like, my, my wife can uh, verify the fact that me throwing up is absolutely terrifying because it, yeah, it sounds uh, much worse than it is always. I mean, it's never that good to... Yes, it is a violent act. When I do it, it's like, oh, if we're going to do this thing that we don't enjoy doing, we're going to do the crap out of it. We're going to make sure that it gets done and that the doing of it is the doing most doing of the deed no we didn't do the deed we we threw up anyway so let's let's not mix euphemisms 
Anyway, uh, so, yeah, the, uh, the throwing of up did commence, and lo, it was a mighty vomit. And, uh, it, it really was, uh, quite a powerful and bad one. And, um, we, we have a running rule in our house. Well, not a rule, but sort of a rule of thumb, if you will. Uh, that I can't beat my wife and children with anything larger than my thumb. Just kidding. That's the actual rule of thumb. Isn't that terrible? Anyway, the the rule of thumb that we have, which, you know, just a, a general guideline, which is what a rule of thumb is supposed to be, which, like, why do you have general guidelines of on the beating of wives and children in your dingus society like get it together you weirdo it's never okay to be beating people this is some garbage behavior and you need to grow out of it anyway so um <laughs> i have no strong opinions on any of these matters so anyway uh there i am throwing up all all up in the place like you do when you're throwing up and um yeah so it it's very unpleasant you know like it is when you throw up i don't know if you've thrown up before but if you haven't how are you alive <laughs> like throwing up is a, a, you know it's a part of uh being a human that's like you know, hey, do you know what it's like to feel terrible? And you ask that to people and they'll be like, boy, do I? Um, because, yes, people do know what it's like to feel terrible. As it turns out, it is one thing we all share, you know, regardless of uh, religion, sex, creed, uh, you know, uh, friggin', yeah, any of the things that may divide us. We, uh, we all puke hard. Anyway, and when we do, we are not happy about it. Because who would be? That sounds stupid. Anyway, uh, so. Uh, where are the remaining? I hate these ones when they grow all together. Anyway, I hope that's the lone remaining log bit. Okay. Anyway, so, um, yeah, our, our long-standing rule is <laughs> that, like, if you throw up, you can stay home, <laughs> like, because who wants to go to work, to school, to anywhere else when you're throwing up? Nobody, that's who, and, uh, quite frankly, it's, it's a good thing to be like, uh, yeah, you th these are the criteria under which you may avoid all other responsibilities puking check you know it, it's like that and and not that many other things <laughs> like uh so anyway yeah the barfing the puking etc did commence and lo I was n not happy. I was not thrilled with this new development. And uh, because why would I be? And uh, so it was bad. And it made me feel bad. And that's that's what you need to know. And so um, I called in. And the fun thing is, so last week when it was a test day for the English department. Uh, both my department chair and one of my colleagues called in. Uh, my colleague called in because she was trapped in Pittsburgh, which is as good a reason as any. Uh, you know, she had a flight that got canceled and she could not make it back in time. She knew she had testing. She tried to make it back in time. She was there the next day, but yeah, she was not um, in the state when the test needed to be done, and that's kind of hard. The other person who was gone, who is my department chair, so she knows better, uh, and, and 
you know, you may have heard me talk about this because, you know, it's still a whole thing. Uh, she was camping. And it's very much a whole thing. Like, uh, I feel like she wants to be retired. Or at least wants to live the retired life. Because her husband is retired. And, uh, and she still has to get up and go to work all the time. And, and meanwhile, he's like, what did I do today? Hmm, ho-hum, nothing. You know, whatever it is that retirees do. Walk slowly in grocery stores. Uh, go to warm places when the weather gets cold. Anyway, regardless, play golf with your pants hiked way up. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's the life she wants to be living, but she is not retired she is still a working teacher. And so that being the case, you know, she's still got to do stuff like, you know, come to school and whatnot, uh, which is a major hindrance to the, you know, the retiree lifestyle. Having to go to work. Like, oh boy, that, that, that'll, you know, wreck those plans any day of the week. Like, oh, I'm a happy retiree. No, you're not. You got to go to work. Ah, some of the bench. Anyway. Okay, I think I got all the stupid bits. I hope I did. I get tired of these trees that grow together. Ugh. Dude, it's so annoying. And it's why uh, one of the greatest mods ever, and, and most Minecraft mods are garbage and I hate them, uh, and you just see me playing the vanilla Minecraft, and you're like, wow, does this guy not know about mods? I know about just stupid mods. And I've seen them because my children install so many overlapping mods that their computers cannot even run them. Um, and meanwhile, I'm over here just like do de do de do playing vanilla Minecraft. No big deal. Don't worry about it. Uh -huh. Anyway, but uh, fast leaf decay is the it, it's one of two Minecraft mods that's worth having. Uh, vein miner is the other, where you hold down the tilde key, and if you're mining a vein of something, be it you know uh, anything from iron to diamond to coal, anything else, redstone, what have you, you know things. Uh, you can just hold down the tilde key and once you've broken the first block, all subsequent blocks in the chain will, in, in the, in the vein will also break. And so you'll vein an entire, uh, you'll mine an entire vein in one single stroke. And it'll still do the same damage on your pick that, uh, happens if you were to mine it out e each piece individually, it just makes it faster a little bit on, you know, some of the more tedious parts. Anyway, um, so yeah, the mining of the craft. Okay. Anyway, I should get enough timbers to, uh, make myself an house um and there we go get this one yes indeed okay i've made myself an house well i've cut myself an wood and i shall make myself an house I love it when uh, the usage of an when you're when it's clearly not warranted is uh, is quite fun because you either sound like a complete dingus or you sound like you know something the other guy doesn't. Anyway, and and it's fun to make them guess and wonder. And when you have a degree, you have an advanced degree in English. And you can make them really stop and think, like, wait, do I not know when to use a versus an? 
And, and uh, the answer is, well, in as much as I am the one who decides, <laughs> no, you don't. Actually, that's not true. But it's one of those things that um, my junior English teacher used to tell us, that you are not allowed to break the rules of the language until you know the rules. And I have a master's degree that says that I know the rules just as well as she did. Although, I would not want to put that to a test. <laughs> because she was very smart. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I, th I think she would be reasonably impressed. I wonder. I, I wonder if you have. Uh, anyway... So, yeah, this is going to be a big dingus house, but <laughs> this little alcove will be full of stupidity for no reason. Um, anyway, so, uh, I am allowed to break the rules of English. That's a thing. Uh, anyway. Barfing and ralphing, ralphing and puking, puking and hurling, hurling and spewing, spewing and barfing, barfing and upchucking, upchucking. Anyway, I, I need not bore you with the many, many uh, ways in which to refer to, uh, you know, the act of vomiting. Uh, but yeah, did it. Uh, called in and our administrative secretary who like all of our administrative secretaries are notorious for like everyone that we've ever had well both of them <laughs> that we've ever had have been notorious for being incredibly put upon when forced to uh, do the one thing that we all know that they do <laughs> Which is funny, because do they do other stuff? Yeah, sure. They do a ton of other stuff. Do we necessarily know about it? Uh, no. <laughs> like, not necessarily. So, anyway. Yeah, that's just the way that things go sometimes. Anyway, so, um, yeah. I, I called in and she immediately was like it's a test day and I'm like oh god does that mean I have to come in and and she's like no I'll find you somebody and I was like okay thank you I really do feel awful I wouldn't like I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't you know I just think it's part of the uh uh you know, just, just part of the dance that, like, if you're going to take a day off, like, we need to make sure you feel awful. So if you don't feel, like, physically ill, we will make you feel emotionally bad. <laughs> and that seems to be the way it works. Um, and indeed, it did. <laughs> like, I felt bad right first thing. It's like, oh, crap. And then I thought about it, and I'm like, wait a minute. Like, first of all, the reason I didn't know it wasn't a test day is because it's not testing in my department. It's math testing. So I'm not going to get called upon to proctor. The uh, math teachers will. And, like, the coverage for them was already determined uh, weeks in advance. So, like... You know, I'm just another dingus who is out, but, like, not someone who is affecting the ability of the school to do its standardized testing. So, like, wait, why should I feel bad? I don't feel like I should feel bad here. Anyway, but, yeah. That is the way. I don't know if it's like that in other professions. But when you're a teacher, first of all, you feel bad when you don't, when you're not there. Like, other professions, 
it's like, oh, you don't feel well, just call in, it's fine. You know, and teacher, it's like, oh, you don't feel well? Well, then your students will learn nothing today, and it will be opportunities lost, and they will never get this time back, <laughs> you know? It's, it's like that. So it's just the same. It's just the same as anything else, like, you know... Yes, indeed. Uh, and it's funny because, like, when I was a librarian, um, which I was for many years, it's like, uh, oh no, who's going to shelve these books? Uh, the answer to that is, whoever is there. And the other answer to that is, like, um, even if they don't get shelved today, they'll get shelved eventually. <laughs> like... It's work that's going to get done. Um, and that's library work. But there's a lot of, you know, work that's like that. You know, I used to work in an ice factory. And everybody would just work until the work was done. Like, what were the hours? The hours were bag up all the machines worth of ice. And then go do d the deliveries. And however long that takes is however long that takes. Those were the hours. And so, like, you know, you just do it, and then when it's done, then that's how you know that it's done. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it is not that way with teaching at all. The, you, you know, you, you can't just be like, well, the teaching has been done. Doesn't matter by whom. No, it really matters by whom, especially in some of the classes. You know, and it's like... I only have so many practices with my drama students before we have to put on a play. A play which I... I am the playwright. I wrote the play. You know? I done hath writ written that there play right over there. And so... You know, they only get so many sessions with me... Uh, polishing the thing to as high a sheen as we can put on it before they have to actually perform it. And, you know, it's it's a whole, like, for many of them, it will be their last time on stage, which is always very sad. But, yeah, like... There we go. Do, do, do. Do, 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 Anyway, uh, so yeah, it's not, uh, it's not that easy to just duck out when you're a teacher. Never has been, never will be. It's the nature of the profession itself. Like, you, you just have to take what you get. Um, so, yeah, the, I, I ended up staying home and did, did my duty, felt bad about it. <laughs> Which, you know, I'm sure that s somewhere out there all the you know, administrative, like all the administrative secretaries and all the school and all the world are like, that's right. You feel bad. <laughs> it's what you do, dingus. When you take a day, you feel bad about it. Okay, I feel like uh, some of these corners should be the other corners. Just looking at them. Yeah, clearly, clearly. I should have made them the other corners. Because I'm looking at it from the inside view. And clearly, like... Uh, yeah. I'm going to have to take some of these out. But the rest of it... The rest of it's looking fine. Um. Anyway. So let's get our... La, da, 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 da. I'm going to make this happen. So, um, it's funny, as a gauge when you are sick, it's always a good thing to know that, um, 
Wait, where was it originally and where am I putting it now? Ugh. Anyway, I think it should go right here. Was that where it was before? I feel like it was. Maybe I'm dumb. It's entirely possible. I wouldn't wouldn't bet against it. Yeah, it's the, these don't form the corners, so, like, why would you not have it on the corners? Anyway, um... So, yeah, the, the funny thing is that any time that you call in, like... I remember calling in when I was a librarian, and if you called in and then all of a sudden you didn't feel that bad, um, bonus, <laughs> like, sweet, that's a good day. You just take that day to yourself and have a good time. Uh, you know, like, I would, I would too, when I was a librarian, I'd be like, yep, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling fine. Just gonna have myself a good old time. And, and then I did, and, uh, turns out that's wrong. Makes Jesus sad. I mean, when you're a teacher, it does. And so, um, yeah, yeah, you gotta do your part. Anyway, so, I, I got my lesson plans done this morning, um, cause, you know, even though you're not teaching, you have to provide all the instructions to whoever is going to be covering your classes. And as it turned out, I got ITA'd, which means that um, other teachers... Yeah. Oh, you did? Really? I told her that you had volunteered for it, and she said that you would be covering somebody else because of math. She made me feel bad about that. And she uh, <laughs> either that or she didn't have you on the docket and was just intentionally making me feel bad because it was a testing day. Anyway. <laughs> Regardless. Well, now I feel better, number one, that my wife was in there for my first hour and that number two... Yeah, they were a little more today. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they will do that. Friggin' actors, who needs them? So let the directors do the plays all the times. Then it'll be good. Anyway. <laughs> uh, okay. But yes, the... um. We get it straightened out eventually. We figure out where to put things. Um, so once I got my lesson plans done and submitted to my department chair, uh, then I, um, you know, was free to do whatever I needed to do for the time that I was sick. Um, and so I. Uh, was like, you know what? I'm going to review a video game because I feel like it. Wait, what? 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 Oh, did I? What? What? Why did I not do this one? This one is the most dingus of them all. It may have been the reason I started in the first place. Anyway, so um, I was like, you know, I love reviewing video games that helps me to feel calm and relaxed and like I have control over my time uh, because I often don't have control over my time and um yeah it is a whole thing um there we go now we're doing it uh and so I uh, reviewed Cat Quest 2, and it was an open question as to whether or not I was going to have to, uh, like, take a very uh, 
quick unplanned uh, bathroom break in the middle of the game review in order to uh, take care of some pukey type business. Uh, I ended up making it all the way through. Woot. Uh, didn't feel that great. And immediately upon finishing, I was like, I am going to take a nap. And so I did. Went into the bedroom, take a nap. And uh, first of all, let me say, like, our, our kitty Leo... <gasps> Is that slime? I let this is this is the slime that climbed the stairs, and I let it live. And I said, "You're okay with me, slime. You're okay with me. Don't follow me down these stairs, slime. I swear to God, I'm gonna come down here and murder your parents." <laughs> oh boy, you say things like that, it makes you seem unstable. Then you say things like, well, I might be unstable. And then people are like, aha, I knew it. Anyway, um, so as soon as I finished uh, the game review, I took a nap that lasted for several hours. <laughs> and when I woke up, oh my god, there's so many slimes in here. Good. Get get slimed up, dude. Get it. Get all slimed on. Oh, oh. What you gonna do? I'm afraid of no ghost. Ah, uh, I am like murdering my own torches over here. Oh crap! I have to punch them with my hand now because I ran out of sword. It's okay. Slimes are imminently punchable. I don't know if you knew that, but they are. I'm just punching. I keep breaking my freaking torches, which just is going to make more slimes. Ugh. Come on. There's so many slimes. I, I hope those weren't actually the parents of that one slime that I let live. Because, you know, I let you live, slime. You remember that. <laughs> anyway. Okay. There we go. That's somewhat better. <sighs> Goodness gracious me. It's my mind. This is where I lay my head. Oh, another slime. Really? Am I going to wake up and just get slimed? Yep. Pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, I wonder if slime blocks... Okay. Okay. Because slime blocks should be a thing, hopefully. Because some things are not blocks. Because you can't block up a uh, redstone. We learned that. <gasps> you can't do slime blocks. No slime blocks. Well, then... Wh what? Oh... I might have to, like, after a while, I might just start a new world in Minecraft 1.8. 1.7 or 1.8. I'll have to look at all the features. Because uh, one of them was certainly the version that I started with. And I, I would like to play that again. But First, let's build a big dingus house. I don't want to just build worlds and abandon them. Or do I? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Okay. You know what? You know what I feel like doing right now? Let's save them quit to title. Oh, don't look at my email. I see you reading my email. Okay. Uh -huh. Um... Okay, the official Minecraft wiki. Okay, pre-classic, classic. Da 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 da. Okay. Creative instant survival. Da 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 da. Trivia pre. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, Java edition 1.0. That's the one that I was playing. 
uh, bedrock version. Da, 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 da. Um, okay, Java edition, classic indev. Um, okay. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do this because, let's see, let's look at 1.7, Java edition 1.7, oh, acacia and dark slabs of stairs, yet added wooden planks and retextures, tops of most wood blocks, okay. Lock stairs, bonus chests, um, logs, spruce saplings, dark oak tree, renamed from roofed oak and oak roof. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. Uh, so it may, let's see, what came with 1.8? Uh, Java edition 1.8. Uh, bountiful update. Okay. Da, spectator mode. Blocks, mobs. Okay. Diorite, andesite. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Um, slime blocks, banners, barriers. Okay. I don't know. I may have started playing with 1.7. But certainly 1.8 would have been like the, um, it, it would have been the version that I came up with. So, uh, I'm going to set myself up a new world, uh, in 1.8 and I'll catch you there. Muhuhaha. And I'm back. Did you, did you miss me? Well, Awesome, I guess. It's how you live in your life. Macroscopic. Oh, hey, that's it. Oh, yeah, I'd have to convert it. Oh, I could... Co well, no, I don't want to convert my... Because I do still have my... Um, how you say? The uh, profile for 1.0. We're going to play Dingus. I just created this world. I haven't done anything with it. I don't have any achievements. So, uh, press E to open my inventory. Yay! I took inventory. Um, now I'm I'm gonna go like quick as I can and go kill sheep. Because why wouldn't I? <laughs> They're right there. They're just waiting to be killed. Anyway, so um. We, I definitely know that it was in the later versions of 1.7, uh, so like 1.7.10, um, in which uh, we started playing Minecraft. Here's how I know, because my daughter um, wanted to start playing Minecraft when she was four. And that's when we started making that happen. And her cousins were totally into it. And so we, uh, we even got her a uh, computer that was terrible and that could barely run Minecraft at all. And, um, oh, okay, let's build the standard things. Sword, it's time to strike. Then you build yourself. Pickaxe. Ah. Oh, dragging. Ah, ha, 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 ha. How I've missed you, dragging. They did not have dragging in version 1.0. They just didn't. What? Oh, ha, <laughs> ha. That's right. Saplings are going to drop on me. Um. Anyway, and now I need an axe. And obviously... One needs a shovel, even though wooden shovels do tend to get destroyed rather quickly. And I will take this with me. And where did that sheep go? Come on. Oh, I see the sheep. Anyway, let's go kill us some sheep. Oh, there's lots of sheep. 
Oh, mutton. Yeah, see, mutton was not a thing in version 1. Okay, I'm feeling more at home. You know, it's funny because so many people are so excited. They're like, oh, did you, you know about the caves update? And obviously the caves update, if you've been following it, and I haven't, like, let me be perfectly honest, I have not been following the Minecraft updates because, you know, like, yeah, for a while I would get excited at when there was a new update and be like, oh, what do they add? Oh, new stuff. And then after a while, I was kind of good with what they had and didn't really feel like I needed anything else. Uh, but they kept adding stuff. I'm just gonna kill me a butt ton of sheep. Because there are a lot of sheep around here. Anyway. So, yeah, I reached a point where I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need any more updates. Thank you very much. Like, the game is awesome. I enjoy playing it the way it is. And, um... Yeah, not everyone felt that way. I mean, granted, I have enjoyed some of the um some of the things that got added. Like I do I like certain aspects of the pillagers, not all aspects of the pillagers cuz they have the big thing that just kills the crap out of you um very quickly. Uh forget what it's called, a, a vindicator. I think it's called a Vindicator because it makes me think of Alpha Flight. Ho ho ho. Look at that. I think I want to go in there at this point in the game. No, thank you. Um, anyway, fun to explore. Yeah, there is a different feel to the older versions of the game. Um, but there is a, oh, coal, yes, thank you, thank you, oh, coal, even more coal. Yeah, there's a different feel to older versions of the game, um, but, uh, there's a familiarity with this specific version. Put a lot of hours into this version of Minecraft, so. Yay, hooray. And let's enter the Stone Age, why don't we? While we are at it, let's enter the Stone Age. Yeah, and everybody has their... The funny thing about Minecraft is that with it being the world's most popular sandbox game of all time, it is the... Um, the variety that you're able to bring to the game, the ways that different people play it differently. You know, I've found that my students, uh, first of all, have no patience for the way that I play the game. Like, none whatsoever. They have... They, they watch me play, and they're like, oh my god, why... Oh, wait. Let me... While I'm here, why not build a stone adds... Um, but yeah, they watch me play it and they're like, Ugh, everything you do is frustrating. <laughs> and indeed it is. It's intentionally frustrating. I set out to frustrate them and I'm winning. Anyway, I don't set out to frustrate them, but you know, I do have like, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Um, I have a student who said that if they have been playing in a new world for upwards of 45 minutes and they haven't gone to the end and slain the Ender Dragon, they begin to wonder uh, what they are doing with themselves. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Yes, I am a monster hunter. Ooh, ooh, I wonder, oh, statistics, options, language, um, please, ch -ch -ch -ch. ow, they got all kinds of things, but do they have 
Shakespearean English? No, they don't. Ooh. Yeah, Shakespearean English didn't come along until later. In Minecraft, in English, the uh, early modern English that Shakespeare wrote in, which I tell my students all the time, it's not Old English, it's not Middle English. If it were older Middle English, if it were, uh, if it were Old English, you'd think it was German. For Middle English, you I don't know, might think it's Dutch, perhaps. Anyway, just looking for a good clearing. I like nice clearings. I like to be out on the plains. I'll just wander around until it either gets dark or until I find what I'm looking for. I'll set up camp. I'll be able to build a bed. Uh, did I just wander in circles? I think I did. Look, I don't need to walk around in circles, walk around in circles, walk around in. Don't need to walk around in circles, walk around in circles, walk around in. <sighs> Come on. Anyway. Will I have to make a clearing? Is that what's going to have to happen? I mean, theoretically. Um... Minecraft worlds are supposed to be as big as the actual world. That's the theory. I've never tested it, obviously, because I've also ne never tested the theory of how big our world is. I mean, I've been to Asia, and that's about it. I mean, I've never been east of Denver, aside from, you know, if, if you consider... Asia to be to the east, then congratulations on being from Europe. Because it's east of Europe, that's why it's the mysterious east. It's west of America. Anyway. But I need not give you a geography lesson. Now we're in Dingus jungle territory. Like, what? How do I even know where I am? Those are thick freaking trees. I suspect that the likelihood of encountering unfriendly mobs goes up quite a bit. I just... Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? All I want is a picture of a goddamn hot dog. Anyway, um, all I want is a nice clearing. And I mean, this is a decent clearing, but it's not in a biome that I like, and I'm very particular about the biomes that I like, okay? I'm gonna have to look around. Anyway, regardless, where's my crafting table? Let's make us an bed. Oh, the old red bed. Back when that was the only kind. Okay. Hmm. Over there is jungle. Ugh. I feel like I'm never going to find a nice clearing like I like. Because I just want plains with oaken trees. It seems like it was the most common of biomes back in the day. But maybe I'm misremembering entirely possible <laughs> come back to the mountain over here did I, yeah I did okay so we do what we must and we must what we do keep putting one Minecraft foot in front of the other. Oh, I was telling about my day. Yeah, napped for a craptacular long time, really long time, and uh, woke up 
and uh, was feeling slightly better, but not enough better to do work. And um, so I reviewed more games. I forced myself to eat lunch, which is always fun when you're like, self, eat this. And yourself is like, no, I don't want to. You're like, do it, stupid. Anyway, I'm very mean to myself. That's actually true, by the way. My wife can concur with that statement. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah, I forced myself to eat uh, a not very delicious or nutritious lunch. And um, do I have, yes, I do have enough. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, my wife has a living ship in No Man's Sky, a.k.a. Space Minecraft. If you like Minecraft, you might like No Man's Sky. They've done a lot with it. I know that people are always like, Ugh, No Man's Sky, isn't that that game that failed and is terrible? Nope. It was that game that failed and was terrible. But not anymore. Not since they fixed it. And and fix it they did. They did a really good job. Like I love the the developers of No Man's Sky. Never gave up on the dream. You know, it's funny. Oh, hey, that's getting into more of my type of speed. No, that's where I came from, stupid. These are the wrong kind of trees. <laughs> I am a dingus. Anyway, I just saw a clearing and I was like, a clearing? Anyway. Wait for this to cook. Come over here and wonder why this is happening the way it is. Hello, Sir Pig. Yeah, I think I might just need to, like, make a clearing in the Birchen Forest. I think that's... I might have to work the land with the sweat of mine brow. But, you know, certainly not tonight. I just need to cook this. Yes, I know. Yes, my lovely wife is shutting down so that she can go to the bed. I myself should go to the bed soon. Oh, I will sleep in it as well. She thinks she's going to get one over on me sleeping in the bed this time. Ha! Well, I'll show her. I'll bring some sleepage of my own. I'll show her what I learned today with the napping. Anyway. So, yeah, reviewed some more games. And, um... You know, uh, got notification that... I don't know how you say his name. Because... Uh, Chauvin... The uh, French police officer. He has a French name. But he's the police officer who murdered George Floyd. Murdered him in broad daylight. On film. In front of the world. And uh, that man was uh, found guilty today. Which uh, is a victory for common sense. Certainly uh, the tiniest of victories for the African-American community. I mean, it's significant. To say it's tiny does not mean it's not significant. It is significant that uh, a police officer in America being held accountable for the murder of a black man, like, yeah, it's about dang time. Um, so the, the fact that it has now happened once, <laughs> that is why it's a tiny thing. We want it to happen many more times. I mean, not that we want the murder of a black man to happen many more times. It's already happened. It's already happened many times this year. So what we want is for justice to be served. Because uh, you look at the things that have happened. I mean, my God, just last week, uh, a police officer um, shot and killed a man... Uh, you know, 
who they believe they were reaching according to the official statement, if it is to be believed. And I, uh, I don't know if it is or not. But um, according to the official statement, uh, the police officer was reaching for a taser, but accidentally grabbed a pistol and shot and killed a man just this week. And um, uh, people were infuriated because also the footage of a young uh, Hispanic man, 13 years old, 13 years old, was shot and killed. And uh, when you look at the footage, it does not look good for the police. And it's interesting, you know, I, I'm old enough to remember the Rodney King beating, the Rodney King riots, uh, the things that the dialogue such as it was um, about the Rodney King um, trial for the police officers who brutally beat him to within an inch of his life. And I remember, like, there was a lot of... Uh, you know, there's a lot of racial tension. People didn't know how to feel and how things were going to go. They just didn't. And, um, you know, and there were a lot of things that were said. Like, I remember there was a joke that was going around um, that basically... Uh, I won't repeat the joke because it's, first of all, not funny. Second of all, not only not funny, not, um, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't help. <laughs> Repeating the joke is not going to help this situation. Let's just say that, um, it, it was based in a racist view that, um, everything that was happening as a result of the Rodney King beating was simply motivated by selfishness and that, you know, people were stealing free VCRs and whatnot. Um, and that that's, that's what it was really about. That if you knew what it was really about, then you would know that that's really the case. Okay, is that a clearing or does that just look like one? Um... I might go that way. Uh, da, 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 da. Anyway, um, yeah. But, you know, the funny thing about the Rodney King trial was that um, it was the first time that anyone had done this, and it was stupid. But they, um, they slowed down the tape, the defense attorneys for the policemen. They slowed down the tape of the brutal beating of Rodney King, and they showed like, oh look, uh, right there, his hand came up as if to beat the officers. If you showed it at full speed, what you would see is like him getting beaten brutally. Um, and his hand going up was as a result of his hand having gone up, you know. Oh, let's make it. Yes. Oh, it's always a little terrifying when you do one of those. Anyway, um, so yeah, people were making stupid claims about it, and there was no justice. There was no justice there. Um, and the funny thing is that you know you can say what you want about the the man that Rodney King was. Um. Ugh, but it's practically night. I don't have... Eh, there we go. Anyway, um, you can say what you want about the kind of man that he was. And you can say what you want about any of these African-American men. Like, you know, the one who was shot when the cop thought they were reaching for their taser and pulled a pistol and shot him. Um, first of all, why are those so similar? Like, come on. That, that doesn't seem like a good idea uh, because it seems like maybe we're lucky that it's only happened, like, well, we don't know how many times. Where's the reporting on this? Um, so, yeah, that's, that's an issue unto itself. Um, 
Hello, Pumpions. This this is getting into familiar biome territory. But unfortunately, we're coming up against the edge of this island that we're on. Or this continent, however big it happens to be. Um, anyway. So, yeah, like, we, we have seen many instances of police brutality, of injustice against African Americans. Um, and if you don't understand why they have been so upset for so long um, about their treatment in our society, like, talk to them, listen to them, find out. It's not a question without an answer. You know, there are many answers and they will be more than willing to educate you if you are willing to listen. Um, there's so many bunnies. Hello, bunnies. I think bunnies were new in this update. Uh, or fairly recent. I'd have to look it up. I could be wildly wrong. Anyway, is that the mountain that I just came from like a dingus? Anyway... I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going, but I'm just going to wander around for a little bit. Maybe find my way, maybe not. Oh, there's a... Oh, that might lead to a village where two biomes meet, especially any biome meeting a desert. Find a lot of villages that way. Aha. It is biome meeting desert. And we don't know yet if the village lives here, but we'll find out, certainly. Oh. It's an entirely separate little island. You know what? I'm going to build a boat. Because it's funny, I'm always hesitant to leave and go places when I... um have established myself later in the game so why not do it now when I have less to lose by moving around dupe but dupe there you go boat okay what -a. So let's just sail around and find what we find. Um, anyway. So here's something I've been thinking about a lot lately. Um, because there is... Oh, hello, Desert Temple. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Ah, see, sail around, find something you like. And I like ye. El Templo de Desierto. Um, anyway. Oh, pff. that's right. Crashing boats. Wait, did it give me a different type of wood than the one I started with when I crashed? That don't make no sense. <gasps> but we're getting into the kind of things that I like. Wait, is this not... What? What are... Why are you not my friend? Why are you not Desert Temple? Are you just a dingus well? Wells aren't cool. <sighs> oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, you. Let's not get sidetracked from getting sidetracked. Let's stay on target with getting sidetracked. <gasps> oh, 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 my God. Oh, no. That was very close to being disaster. Anyway. Doodle-doo-doo. Yes, he's singing the doodle song by the Proclaimers. Ah, do you know it? Do you know the doodle song? It's got a lot of doodles in it. 
What? Why are these? Do I have to hit it with something other than a thing for it to give me sticks? All right. I guess maybe those don't give you sticks yet. Whoa. Are you underground? Is your entrance hidden? Okay. There's partially kind of an entrance. Let's use shovel. I shovel well. I shovel very well. You shovel better than any man I've ever known. But that does not make you a superhero. Anyway, I do shovel well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Here we are. Okay, that is the... Oh, I need to make some torches. Obviously. No, not you, stupid. Give me four more of these just for good measure. Give me a bunch of these just for good measure. Give me a bunch of this just for good measure. I don't think I've ever had a mob spawn inside a desert temple. But, like, I'm always terrified that it's going to happen. And, like, oh, maybe this will be the time. And so, like, I'm always lighting it up. Boop. Anyway. Projectile protection, that'll come in handy. Got some bones, got some gold, got some iron. That's good, that's good. Um, hey, why don't you have some sandstone, some smooth sandstone, some sandstone slab, some sand, some rotten flesh, uh, a random egg, a stone pressure plate, a couple of spruce saplings, this bit of stained clay, you know, just a couple of things, just a couple of things. Ooh, all them bones. Yeah, that's a thing now. That was not a thing. Ooh, saddle. I have to find myself a dingus horse. Has to be a dingus one. Ooh. Why so many bones? Like, how many skeletons died down here? Well, that's a little... A little bit of a disappointing temple, if I'm being perfectly honest. I have had better temples in my time. Uh, oh well. I was the first of hopefully many. <sighs> anyway. Let's plop down some ploppers. Take a couple poppers. Don't take poppers, kids. Unless you're gay then I guess. All right. There we go. Did it. Did it. All right, that, that's all cavey caved. Where's the entrance and exit? Where did I come in at? Oh, that's right. Because, yeah. Okay, totally deserted that temple and left it deserted. Ooh, ooh, I should get a bucket of lava while I'm near some lava. That'd be a good idea. Anyway, hold up just one second. Oh, what a pretty sunset. Oh, you can actually see it. 
when you're not in the middle of frick nowhere. Okay. Let me get my bed. Sleeping next to lava. Always safe. My mama done told me when I was in knee pants. My mama done told me, son, a woman will sweet talk. She'll give you the big eye. But when the sweet talking's done, just sleep next to lava. It's like, duh. Why wouldn't you? I mean, it, whoa, crap. I hate it when I do that. It's lava. It's there for sleeping. Oh, the Barney music has begun. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Because this looks like the way to... Exactly the biome I've been looking for. Hopefully. And if I find it... Then... Then I'll finally be happy. Actually, no, I won't. I'm very hard to please. <laughs> That's half of my problem, people. Hard to please. Lofty expectations all over the place. Whoop. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I forgot what I was talking about with my day or any part of it. Like, the puking was the main part that was very disturbing and made me upset. Because I didn't want to but then I was the whole time. Um, and then, uh, yeah, got a couple of games reviewed, and then when I tried to actually get work done, uh, the universe was like, no! And when I say the universe, of course, I mean the Microsoft Corporation was like, we will not give you access to programs, you know, how you recently had hard drive death and now need... Um, oh, you know what? I wonder if the stupid in installation files are in my drive because I have a backup. Mm, maybe. Maybe. This is like a little oasis of green in the uh, surrounding areas of not that. Like, I like the planes. The planes are my jam. And these are planes. They're technically planes. You can't say they're not planes. Because they are planes. Oh, hello. Village. Yes. Okay. Yep. I think we're settling down here. I think this is it. That's a sign. It's a sign that there's a massive ravine. Why are there always ravines right next to villages? What is it about villages that's like, also, massive ravine? So that if, if Dingus over here tries to mine anything, like a smart guy, then maybe he will uh, end up running into a big old frick ravine. And then he'll have that to contend with for no reason. Uh, why? Why must you be the way you are? And see, I don't like the savanna biomes. Oh, look. See, the, um, yeah, villages early on were, um, not cool at all. Cleric. Oh, I just got rid of my jobby flesh. Sorry, cleric. I would have given you something, but I instead have nothing and now no emeralds for me. Oh, this is a cute little village. You know what? I'm going to save the exploration of this village for later. Let's just say that mainly today was... Oh, yes. Yes, I love pilfering libraries, both in real life and in Minecraft. I was a librarian, I'm allowed to say that. Um, and there are parts of libraries, even in real life, that you can pilfer, because they do have things that... 
Oh, yes. This will have a chest inside. <gasps> With iron. Aha. Uh -huh, and bread. Oh, my God. I am winning so hard right now. This is... All my dreams are coming true. I'm going to cover my bald spot on my very accurate... Oh, I need to change this. This is my winter clothes. My my khaki pants and this is my gray sweatshirt. Or not sweatshirt, gray um, jacket that I would wear every day. So that's pretty accurate to what I look like in, uh, in the wintertime. Big, stupid-looking beard. Brightly blue eyes. Bald spot. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> they don't know about the bald spot. Anyway. You know what? Uh, yeah. Think think we're going to call it good here. Anyway. Interesting day. Deja vu. <laughs> interesting day. Hope for more good things for the African American community. Because, you know, it's been a long time coming for them. that They've not gotten justice so many of uh, their young men killed in the streets in broad daylight. And, and since everybody's carrying cameras with them all the time now, um, the footage of these events is they, not rare. And police body cam footage, I mean, honestly, it's, um, it just <sighs> makes it so much harder to hide uh, what is happening. And so... When what is happening is so upsetting, you you really um, you you really start to wonder if there's ever going to be justice, because y you see what has happened. Like, uh, I think it was Eric Garner. I I could be wrong. Like, here's the sad thing, is that I get my uh, murdered black people mixed up because there have been so many um but i i think it was eric garner who was uh selling lucy's on the street in new york selling loose cigarettes which ooh, what a crime certainly uh kill that man anyway he was they were cuffing him and uh wrestling him to the ground he wasn't didn't seem to be resisting there is footage of it if you want to watch it which <sighs> it's one of those things where like you should it's like seeing holocaust footage like you watch it not because you want to see it but because you need to see it uh so that you never forget so that you always remember and so that you you do what you can to make sure it doesn't happen again but yeah he's calling out that he can't breathe while he's being strangled to death for no freaking reason on a crime that's so light of a crime that, like, who gives a crap? I mean, seriously. <sighs> anyway, and uh, what became of the police officer there? I don't know. I have no idea. I, I don't think that anything significant happened to him. Maybe he got fired, but certainly not out of a cannon. So, like, what do you even do with that? How do you even feel? God, time passes by so quickly when I'm doing this. I, I really need to get to bed. It's, it's well past time for me to be in bed. All right, people. Hey, uh, important day, big day, uh, but let's let it be one of many. You know, not that um, not that we necessarily need this particular kind of justice, but if if we're going to have equality, there must be justice for all. I mean, I seem to remember some words about that that we force children to say every morning. Only I don't say them like that. Say liberty and justice for rich people. That's what I say, because that's what it is. Oh, you're not saying the pledge right. Yeah, I'm not. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> like, there's no law that says that I have to say the Pledge of Allegiance the way that you want me to. No law whatsoever. One of the greatest things about America is that you can feel about it however you want. Well, what about the troops? What about the troops? Like, 
the troops do a great thing every day. They put their lives on the line, and I respect the hell out of that. But it does not mean that they get to tell me how to conduct myself in every aspect of my civic life, or indeed in any aspect of my civic life. Because that's the beauty of America, the freedom to not have other people breathing down your neck and telling you what to do all the time. You know, like freedom. Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I mean, literally, the troops fought for my freedom to uh, not say the Pledge of Allegiance in a respectful way on a daily basis. Because I don't feel like I have to because I don't feel like the America that I see reflects the promise of the America that I believe in. So, and I believe in America, and I love America, and my patriotism is, quite frankly, none of your business. I don't need to fly an American flag on my truck. I haven't. I won't. And that's that. Deal with it. It's my friggin' business. And... The fact that I live in America means that it being my friggin' business and none of yours, it's it's a beautiful thing. Anyway, people. <laughs> uh, yeah, let, let's all try to make it better for everyone. You know what I'm saying? Better for everyone. Not just for people who look like you and think like you and talk like you and act like you. I mean everybody. Oh, what about the police officers? Okay, uh... The vast majority of police officers don't murder black men. <laughs> like, it's not every cop. We know this. But it is cops. It is cops. And so what is it about, like, uh, it, what is it about the ones that do these things? Anyway, I this is a whole can of worms, and it's too late to be opening this can of worms. Anyway. I respect the police officers, and quite frankly, I don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to. There's no law that says, like, you like the police. I don't have to like the police. I don't even have to like the band, the police. They have some good songs. Totally. <laughs> oh, God, this is devolving. Anyway, you do have to like the band Devo, though. You have to like Devo. I don't care how you feel about the police. You freaking like Devo. And I'm not just talking about Whip It. I'm talking about Jocko Homo. I'm talking about Are We Not Men. I'm talking about, like, uh, what's that one? Uh, yeah, 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 do, 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 do. I'm thinking of the song. Uh, gotta. Uncontrollable Urge is the name of the song. Uncontrollable Urge, my favorite Devo song. Couldn't think of the name of it. <laughs> but yeah, it is my favorite Devo song. It's late. It's so late, I can't remember favorite Devo song. Anyway, people, go to bed. I need to go to bed. We'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.